Are you planning a trip to Istanbul? Wondering what kind of souvenirs and fun things you can take back to your family and friends? For centuries, Istanbul has been a center of trade and a place to buy unique items from all over the world. If you're visiting Turkey, there is no better way to remember your trip than purchasing Turkish souvenirs here in Istanbul. Whether you're looking to get something for your family and friends or maybe something special for yourself, in today's video, we're gonna show you some of the best souvenirs to get while you're here in Istanbul. We're going home to celebrate my grandmother's 90th birthday and Miles' mom just had a really big birthday as well. So today we're on a mission to find a couple of really special things. Plus we want to pick up a few fun things for our nieces and nephews. And we also want to get some things to share a little bit of turkey with the rest of our family. So let's get shopping. We're not really big shoppers, but we're here for it today. Real quick. If you're starting to plan your trip to Istanbul, you probably already know this city can be overwhelming. There is so much to do, so much information out there, and with a short amount of time here, there are so many opportunities to get it wrong. Let us help you. We always have a more rewarding experience in a new place when we know someone who lives there and can help us travel more like a local. We want to be that for you here in Istanbul. We have created a comprehensive digital guide because we want to give you that local experience and share with you this city that we have fallen in love with. It's less than $10 and if it isn't exactly what you need, we will give you your money back. If you're interested, just go to the link in the description or the pinned comments to learn more about it. Since we're here longer term, there are plenty of places over in our neighborhood on the Asian side where we could get everything we need, but that would not be very helpful for the average visitor. So we have put on our tourist hats and we are getting started here in and around the Spice Bazaar. The Spice Bazaar was built in the 1600s and it is also known as the Egyptian Bazaar. It's full of spices, Turkish delights, specialty teas, and it's a lot of fun to walk through and take in all of the smells and bright colors. You are going to pay more for certain items here, but take pictures, enjoy the experience, and take the story home with you. The shop owners are not shy. I want to say something. If you want to come inside my shop, can I offer tea for you? And it can be a lot of fun to try a few Turkish delights or specialty teas, but be careful to ask for the price before you buy anything. Prices can add up very quickly if you aren't careful. Also, as a disclaimer, the Turkish lira has been heavily impacted by inflation and the value has fluctuated a lot in the past couple of years. So we're going to give you some estimated prices as of today in Turkish lira and US dollar, but don't be surprised if things change. All right, we're starting with something very popular here and that is Turkish delights. Sorry for under the it's going to be all right, and here I want to show you what we have. We have the best Turkish delight in the whole Egyptian bazaar. These guys are great. <laughs> Thank you, you are great, my friend. They're very good at separating you from the money in your wallet. I really want to help you to spend <laughs> your money, my friend. And if you are allowing me, my place is empty right now. I can show you before it gets crowded. Turkish delights, also known as lokum, are a very sweet candy with a gooey texture. There are many different varieties and flavors, and the classic Turkish delights are small cubes, often containing nuts and coated in powdered sugar. And they are typically served alongside a cup of Turkish coffee. There are also more specialty Turkish delights that are rolled into a log type shape. Again, these come in a variety of flavors like pistachio, hazelnut, rose, pomegranate, blueberry, and the list goes on. If you do want to buy some of these treats to take home, the shops can seal them up and they should last for several months. No more, no more. No more. No, no, this one also is really good. Trust me, I'm gonna keep it the last one. Small like this? Oh no. <laughs> Brother, trust me, this one. Oh my God, it's not gonna be enough. Try it. This is blueberry? Blueberry. <laughs> Turkish delights are good, but our favorite sweet treat in Turkey is definitely baklava. But even packaged, baklava is only good for about 10 days. So we plan to buy some the day we leave from our favorite shop in Katakoy. There are also some very famous baklava shops located in different areas around the city. You can also buy all kinds of different teas in the Spice Bazaar. There are many different specialty teas and they can be a lot of fun to try. Drink Red Bull, you will be fly. I give you a guarantee. Guarantee? Yeah. You see, in the color, it's become like this. Oh my god! You got us! <laughs> Sorry, but we have to do that, my friend. You really got me. Okay, moving right along, we are in the Spice Bazaar, so let's check out some spices. We've actually been asked several times what are some good spices to get here in Istanbul. So let's find out. Most of the shops in the Spice Bazaar sell similar spices, but the price points can vary. The most popular spices seem to be the mixes for fish, meats, soups, and salads. Other popular ones include sumac, chili powders, tomato paste, saffron, and of course classics like cumin, paprika, and much more. Trying free. Oh, hey, that's spicy. Woo. That spice is called psychopath. <laughs> 
spicy. I like it. Okay, we got some special Ottoman spice mix for kebabs, another spice mix for chicken, and some very spicy red pepper flakes, just because Jess likes to add spice to everything. And they can even seal and package your spices so you can get them home safely. Also, depending on which shop you go into, the prices can be very different. And the spice shop right here on the corner where the two parts of the L meet seems to have the most local prices inside the Spice Bazaar. So here's the deal. When you're walking through the Spice Bazaar, you're going to get samples offered to you everywhere you turn. Then you'll get invited inside the shop where you'll be fed more and more samples. And eventually, you'll have been given so much for free that you'll feel guilty, almost like you have to buy something. At least that's how it goes for us usually. Honestly, we are well aware of how it works here, but it still gets us every single time. It's all part of the experience. Just make sure you don't spend more than you should on something you don't even want. They have many other things here outside of just spices and treats, like gold, ceramics, scarves, etc., etc. But we're gonna save all that for later. The shops extend well outside of the Spice Bazaar, and our next stop is right here by one of the entrances. This is the most famous place in all of Istanbul to buy Turkish coffee. You cannot miss it. You can smell the roasting coffee several blocks away. There's almost always a line, and there's a whole team of people here bagging up the Turkish coffee to go. Tea might be the favorite drink nowadays for locals, but Turkey is famous for its coffee, so coffee makes for a great souvenir to bring back home. Turkish coffee is all about how you make it, so now that you have your freshly ground coffee, you're gonna need a jezve. You cannot make authentic Turkish coffee without a jezve. If you just put this coffee in your filter coffee maker at home, you're just gonna get a really bad cup of coffee. To really round out a Turkish coffee themed gift or souvenir, you can also get a Turkish coffee set. These come in all kinds of designs, and Turkish coffee cups are small, usually ornately decorated, and must have a saucer. You can find Jezves and Turkish coffee cups in and around both the Spice Bazaar and the Grand Bazaar. Also, like we mentioned, the most popular drink here in Turkey is traditional Turkish tea or chai. Turkey consumes more tea per capita than anywhere else in the world. It is served in a small tulip-shaped glass, and it is actually just black tea that is mostly grown in the Black Sea region of the country. It really is a part of the culture here, which makes it a great gift to take home. You can just buy the loose-leaf tea in any of the supermarkets, and just like the coffee cups, a set of tulip-shaped tea glasses can make a great souvenir and can be found around both the Spice Bazaar and the Grand Bazaar. Walking through the Spice Bazaar is a lot of fun, but virtually everything in there is quite a bit more expensive than what you can find just outside. So we're gonna get a few more things out here while we yes. make our way up to the Grand Bazaar. Where are you from? US Spice Market. America. America. <laughs> Welcome to Come Come. You got us. You have Turkish delights too? Of course. Good, same, same. We're learning a lot about Turkish delights today. So just for an example of what we were just saying about things being less expensive out here, the Turkish delights we bought inside the Spice Bazaar were 350 Turkish lira per kilo. These ones were 250 Turkish lira per kilo for what we believe to be the same exact thing. But we've also learned that the cheaper ones in the front that they lure you in with, those are made with sugar, whereas the more expensive ones, like what we just bought, are made with honey, no sugar. That's what they say, make sure to try it and make sure you get something that you actually enjoy. Frankly, they give you so many taste of things, it all runs together. I, I don't even know. We've probably eaten a kilo of, <laughs> yeah. of Turkish delights it, it just feels, trying the different ones. This is for you because you have no hands. <laughs> but there are hundreds, if not thousands, of these shops and they extend all the way from here at the Spice Bazaar up to the Grand Bazaar. So if you're looking to get some better deals, you probably should spend some time shopping outside of the two main bazaars as well. We're gonna see what else we can find. So Jess's sister and her husband were just here visiting us and our brother-in-law really liked Adana kebabs and his birthday's coming up. So we already got the spices, but we're gonna get a few more things so that he can make Adana kebabs at home. We are also going to pick up some small gifts for our nieces and nephews and the options really are endless. There are scarves, fun lamps, Turkish evil eyes and all kinds of different sizes and designs, fun costume jewelry, little bags and purses. And we are even getting a couple of jerseys from our neighborhood football club. Just be sure to shop around and negotiate because prices and quality can be very different from one shop to the next. This cat apparently has babies. I'm hoping that he's bringing them down. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most souvenirs we've ever purchased in four years of travel. 
we have officially made it to the Grand Bazaar. This is one of the oldest and largest shopping malls in the entire world. It is massive. It's somewhere around 60 streets and I think around 4,000 stores. The Grand Bazaar is typically going to be more expensive than other places you would find in the city, but how often are you going to be shopping in such a historic place? But just be sure to negotiate. There's a big disclaimer here. If you're in the market for some higher priced items like carpets or maybe antiques, you're going to want to do your research and maybe get those somewhere outside the Grand Bazaar. So just a first quick example, we bought a scarf outside of the Grand Bazaar for 180 Turkish Lira and that guy we just stopped at was selling, or well, his starting price was 550 Turkish Lira. So definitely be sure to <laughs> negotiate. Generally speaking, you can expect a fair price to be somewhere around 50% less than the first price you are given, depending on the item. Also, so many shops carry the exact same things, so don't be afraid to walk away and try and find a better deal somewhere else. A lot of places will take credit card, but paying in cash can help with negotiating. And of course, it always helps if you're buying more than one thing. This is going to vary depending on the item. Obviously, if something is super cheap to start out, there might not be as much negotiating room to get the price down. And like we already mentioned, you should consider spending some time looking through the hundreds of shops situated around the outside of the Spice Bazaar and Grand Bazaar. They carry many of the same items for considerably less. So if you're really looking to find a better deal, you should be sure to check those out. But let's head back to the Grand Bazaar. So first up, we're going to get something special for ourselves. We actually just celebrated our 12 year wedding anniversary and we got these current silver rings that we're wearing very early on in our travels. So today it's time for an upgrade. The Grand Bazaar is famous for selling gold. There's a whole section of the bazaar with tons of gold shops. A lot of things here in the Grand Bazaar are overpriced, but one thing that shouldn't be is gold. But we are gonna put the camera away to make sure we get the best deal possible. Gold is traded by weight in the Grand Bazaar and the market price changes daily. There is a market price for buying gold and also a price if you're wanting to sell your gold. When purchasing, the jeweler will weigh the piece and add a small premium for design work, which is why the price is negotiable. Just be on the lookout for things like large clasps or stones or other non-gold design features that can add to the weight of your piece. Okay, we're back. We bought these two rings for around 340 US dollars total. His initial price was quite a bit higher than that, so like we mentioned, don't be afraid to negotiate no matter what it is. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Now let's see what else we can find. Another really popular souvenir here in Turkey are handmade and hand-painted ceramics. You can get anything from replica Iznik tiles like the ones you'll find in the Blue Mosque to colorful plates and bowls, and of course, handmade vases of all kinds of different shapes and sizes. There are regions in Turkey that are famous for ceramics like Cappadocia and Iznik, and Istanbul can be a great place to see all the different styles. I think we could spend all day just going through ceramic shops, but there is so much more here. There is a whole section of leather goods where you can find jackets, purses, backpacks, luggage. You have beautiful lantern shops scattered throughout the bazaar. There are of course Turkish towels, handmade olive oil soaps, all kinds of small trinkets. Seriously, the list is endless. And of course, we cannot make a video about souvenirs here in Turkey without at least mentioning Turkish carpets. To be honest, we are not experts, nor are we in the market, but it is really impressive to see how they hand make the carpets here in Turkey. If you do want to buy a carpet here in Turkey, definitely do your research because this can be a very high ticket item and you want to make sure that you are buying from a quality shop with authentic carpets. While you are here in Istanbul, you will almost definitely be approached by somebody with a cousin or an uncle or a friend with a carpet shop and they are just as good at helping you spend your money as the guys in the Spice Bazaar. So be very careful. Istanbul can also be a great place to buy antiques. The Grand Bazaar has an antique section in the center of the bazaar which is absolutely worth visiting. But we have some experience purchasing antiques here in Istanbul so we are familiar with just how overpriced some of the antique items in the Grand Bazaar can be. There are some high quality antique shops located all around the city like in our neighborhood of Katakoy or in Balat. One other really great neighborhood for antiques is Chukurjuma. Even if you are not in the market for particular antiques, these can be really fun neighborhoods to walk around. I think that's going to do it for us today. It has been a full day of souvenir shopping. 
but it's been a lot of fun. We really hope that this video helps you find the perfect souvenir to commemorate your trip here in Istanbul. Please let us know in the comments whatever fun souvenirs you pick up during your trip here, and be sure to click the link in the description to learn more about our comprehensive digital guide. Thanks for watching. Bye. For centuries, Istanbul has trip than purchasing some unique. Yes, 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 yes. We picked the most energetic guy to stand up on up in this one.